In a previous video I gave a short introduction on what quantitative and qualitative research are about. Let's take a look at now in more detail what qualitative research is. One thing that differentiates qualitative research from quantitative research is that qualitative research can follow multiple different paradigms. And this is uh, easiest to understand if you consider that a quantitative researcher typically uses numbers and assumes that those numbers represent reality and that reality is the same for everybody. So in qualitative research we make uh, what we call realist assumptions and we assume that those numbers represent reality. In qualitative research, in contrast, we can study reality but we can also study people's interpretations of reality. So we are not constrained in studying what is but we are, can also study how it is understood by people. So we can study what happens externally to people or we can study what happens internally to, in people's heads. We can also do a radical research where the objective is not to document or explain reality but to change reality. The paradigms that are available in, for qualitative researcher is are four according to this, uh, this diagram. So we are the functionalist, we assume reality is objective, we assume our subjective reality in interpretive research, and then we have the radical versions where we assume that the purpose of research is not to explain the reality of the status quo, but to change the, uh, the status quo. This is sometimes called post-positivism or, or realism, this is sometimes called social constructivism, and these are sometimes called critical theory. This is a bit of a, of a, a simplification. And then we have pragmatism which says that whatever uh, works is the purpose of research and research doesn't have to produce anything that would be true in any sense. Another thing to understand about qualitative research is that qualitative research is actually quite difficult. And what makes qualitative research difficult is that there is no like standard toolkit for a qualitative researcher. Whereas for a quantitative researcher you have experiment and then you just compare the treatment outcome and you have cross-sectional survey and you have standard tools like factor analysis and regression analysis that you would apply to data coming from cross-sectional survey. In qualitative research there is no, no like single accepted process to be followed when you do your study. There are something that, that researchers call templates like you, you do certain things together but they're not same like rule-like things. Like if there is a statistical problem, then there's typically one tool that is best for that problem. That is not the case with qualitative research. So qualitative research has, has lots more subjectivity uh, in how you analyze your data. And it requires more expertise because you just can't take a flowchart and follow that flowchart and then out comes a research uh, project. When we describe qualitative research uh, through a process flowchart, it typically looks like this. So you um, start like you would do in a quantitative study and then uh, you, you design your research design, you decide what you, uh, what you sample, like if you do multiple case study or you do multiple interviews, you decide whom you interview and uh, then you decide what kind of questions you ask in your interview that is parallel to the measurement in quantitative research. But then uh, this uh, data collection analysis and interpretation is not uh, it's not like one comes first, but it's more of a cyclical process where uh, data collection and data processing leads to data analysis and interpretation, which leads to more data collection. And uh, the idea here is that you analyze and collect the data at the same time. The reason why we want to do that instead of just collecting the data at once and then analyzing it at the end is that when we analyze our data, then we get new ideas, our theory uh, develops, and then we know what new data we might need. So we might, based on this analysis and interpretation, go back to updating our interview or observational protocol. So once we have our own emerging theory from the qualitative analysis process, then uh, we, can, we can update the interviews and ask more questions, ask, get more data that, is, uh, that allows us to refine whatever theory we're working on. Then uh, we can also go more cases so we can identify that certain kinds of informants or certain cases kind of cases are more useful than others and then we go and we get more cases. And then we only finish uh, when we decide that 
no more questions, no more cases would change our theory. So we are basically done, we have reached saturation. So qualitative research is much more iterative process in quantitative research. Quantitative research at least pretends to be like sequential, but qualitative research doesn't even pretend to do that, be, be that. So all manuals of qualitative research explain that it's a lot of iteration and for a good reason, because you never know what the result is going to be when you start a qualitative study. Qualitative researchers also take a different approach to making causal claims. If we have like a realist type case study, for example, where we want to make propositions that contain claims about causality, we don't focus on these uh, three conditions that a quantitative researcher would obsess about, because causality is a process and there is no causal process in these conditions. Instead, a qualitative researcher would go and observe the causality in action. A qualitative researcher would uh, argue causality by describing the causal process. A qualitative researcher might say that I saw it happening, this is how it happened, and that basically eliminates the need for probing causality using these three conditions. The outcome of a qualitative research also can vary a lot between studies. Whereas in quantitative research, the outcome is typically some kind of a table of numbers. In qualitative research, the outcome can be a diagram like this. This presents a sequence of events in a case, or it can be an explanation of theory like this. So this is a verbal, uh, like a textual explanation of what happens in a case and why, or it can be in the form of table. So this is a from a multiple case study article, so we have case comparison tables. The format of the result in qualitative research, therefore, is very different from quantitative research. So there's lots more variety. In terms of designs, qualitative research tends to be a field research where we observe our audio interviews in the field. So if we want to study companies, we go and visit those companies and see what happens in the companies. We talk to people in the companies or they can be based on archival records. For example, historical approaches to management research would look at, at historical documents. We might take a look at our board meeting minutes for a longer period of time, analyze those. So these are the two main designs that are used in uh, qualitative research. Experiments and surveys, not so much. The book also says that there really are no qualitative experiments. Someone might have tried it, but it's not, not very common. We can have cross-sectional studies and we have longitudinal studies. Cross-sectional study means that you just uh, study something at one occasion and then longitudinal studies refer to uh, studying something over a longer period of time. So it can be interviews where you return to the research site or it can be an ethnography where you become a participant in your, in your research site and then follow the research site as a participant. Then we have case studies. A case study is something that is a very typical form of a qualitative study. A case is an organization or a company or, or an individual. Typically in business studies, it's a company. And then uh, you focus on, on looking at that one company as a unit of analysis. Then comparative studies or multiple case studies take multiple cases and compare. So this is in a nutshell, uh, some of the basic ideas and basic concepts in qualitative research.